everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Janelle and I do all things budgeting today we're going to be doing my week two check-in for the month of April so if you are interested in watching stay tuned so this week was actually um, a pretty decent week um, not too much happened so we're going to first start off with looking at my expenses for the week and then go from there. So we are going to be looking at the 10th through the 16th. So we are going to start off from toasted yolk. So on 410, which was a Saturday, I... Um, took Brennan out for breakfast just something for us to enjoy because he's normally not home on the weekends y'all like we literally see each other for like an hour every day so um, we hung out a little bit and we went out for brunch breakfast something towards that for that day and I spent $57 on my city card and then on the 10th I also put my buffer of $50 into my savings account, which is my savings to account for Wells Fargo. And then also on the 10th, which is weird because you'll see down here, but I took a dollar out to put into my savings account, but then I credited myself back for a dollar because I already accounted for the dollar previously and I'm not sure why I then added another dollar so I just needed to correct that so it's kind of null and void um, and then on the 10th as well I used my Walmart card to just buy some miscellaneous things that we needed either for groceries or for household we did have our housewarming on the 10th you guys and it was a huge success i appreciate the few friends that we did invite for them coming out we had a blast no one left until maybe around four o'clock sunday morning <laughs> so literally all day sunday we were just like sleeping but we definitely had a blast um and we definitely felt loved so it was a success um, and then on the 11th, y'all, I keep forgetting, I don't know why, and I just need to remember that I need to add acorns as a bill. But acorns took out $3 out of my account. And then on the 15th, I paid my AT&T bill, which is $186.58. I had a stitch fix that came in. <sighs> y'all I have like a love-hate relationship with stitch fix right now because originally when I was getting my stitch fix boxes they were like maybe in the high 100s now they're getting close to like 250s 260s and um I'm loving the outfits that they're sending me and it's just so much though and I think to myself like I tell myself I don't have this money and then I somehow find the money to pay it back because I do not want it to stick on my credit card. So I'm going to need to figure that out. But I did already change my stitch fix already to every other month and not every two to three weeks. So we'll see how that goes. But I did go ahead and just pay that off. It got charged to my Wells Fargo card and I just took care of it. So that's just my treat for the day, um, for the month. Um, and then I had my Ashley's one credit card that I needed to pay for $96. And then I have my Ashley's two credit card bill and that's for $34. And then my Walmart credit card, I paid that back the $78.70. So I paid that back. So that is now back at zero. And then of course I just credited back myself the dollar from earlier in savings. So nothing too crazy. I really haven't like actually spent any money. So um, I would just say that Stitch Fix was really my only um, day that I spent money, but I spent money on Saturday too. So the 10th and the 15th were the two days that I spent money that I shouldn't have spent. So, um, we are going to do um, no spend on the 11th, no spend on the 12th, no spend on the 13th, no spend on the 14th, and then no spend 
on the 16th so I did one two three four five days so that is pretty pretty decent and not terrible at all so let's go into my actual cash envelopes and see what is going on over there so if you are new to my channel I use a budget app called the good budget and on there I'm able to track all of my expenses for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds um, let me actually dim this down some okay so this is just what it looks like um, and so I can go into here and just look at all of my purchases and then it also gives me a running balance same thing with my sinking funds which I haven't really used um, or haven't used at all um, really but I'm also able to track this so it just syncs to your cell phone your iPad your computer or whatever and it is just perfect for um, on the go since I am cashless it's super easy for me to be able to just um, look at what I have available in my cash envelopes and just kind of go from there so we are going to roll over the money from last month so I mean last week so we had $215 for groceries we had $99 for gas we had $21 for groceries $80 for personal and then $44 for miscellaneous. So um, I already did sort of like a cheat sheet on how much money I have spent since I can see the totals here. So for groceries, we had $215 and I spent a total of $136.02. And that was because on the 11th, you guys, I drove to like four different stores looking for spare ribs and no one had spare ribs. And then we ended up changing what we were going to cook for Sunday and then kind of got like a few extra stuff so definitely went a little bit more than what I would have wanted to spend but I had the money and we were gonna eat something anyway so we were good so that leaves me with a total of seventy eight dollars and ninety eight cents I roll over the ninety eight cents into my um, savings account and so that just leaves me with seventy eight dollars in my groceries for gas i had 99 dollars. i spent 46 dollars and 19 cents that leaves me with 52 dollars and 81 cents i am going to roll over the 81 cents which leaves me at 52 dollars and then household had 21 dollars. i spent 14 so that is going to just leave me with the even seven dollars for personal, I have not spent anything, so I still have $80. And that is going to get used up pretty soon here because I am going to be taking out my hair and getting it washed. And as soon as I get my nails done, they need to get done again. So I'll be doing that as well sometime in May. So I haven't used anything. And then for miscellaneous, I felt like I was spending a lot of money out of here, but didn't spend too much. Uh, so I had $44, I spent $16.48, which left me with $27.52. I'm rolling over the 52 cents, and that is just going to leave me with $27. So the change that I will be rolling over into my savings account is going to be, let's put it right here, it's gonna be $2.31. Okay, and we are going to go to my savings over here, and we are going to do 416, even though I'm doing this a different day. We're going to do change rollover, and that's $2.31. Oh, is this pen going bad, y'all? It sure is. Let me find another pen. Okay, so we are going to use $2.31, and let's add that up. So that is going to be 
$117.71 plus $2.31 which puts me now at $120.02. So my savings account is coming up very well. Um, and so that is where we are, you guys. And that is literally my check-in. Nothing too crazy here. Um, you guys saw what I spent um, just in my regular checking and then what I did for my cashless cash envelopes. This concludes the video, you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, share with your friends and family. And if you've waited this long, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.